I designed a course specifically for this. The main, the, the most important thing to do before you just start going after metals is to prepare the amunctories, which are the, all the elimination routes in the body. So people get into all these detoxes, they dive in, but they never prepare the organ system so that they can handle the upsurge of waste that are going to now be funneled through those organs. And then they get into trouble. They get into secondary problems and symptoms that they don't like. So it's really about education, being informed about your body, which is, you know, what I do. I'm here to like teach people about their bodies, to empower them to be their own doctors and to learn properly what symptoms are and what they're not. And to sort of throw out the germ theory ideology and also make really intuitive decisions. I'm sure there are people who will say, oh, well, I had cancer, I took ivermectin and it went away and all these kinds of things. Well, yeah, that's because the toxicity was sitting in those tissues and you had the parasites, you know, working on that. Now you just got rid of the parasites. Now you don't have the parasite, you know, issue. So you don't have those symptoms, but where did those toxins go? And where did they go in the body? Right. And then we also have like the placebo effect on top of it, which, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, just let them believe it. You know, just, <laughs> I'd yes, rather, yes. you know, just let them go with it because, you know, th what they'll lose 10 years of their life, but they wouldn't know the difference or they, you know, or they yes. might lose some intelligence quotient, but you know, they wouldn't know the difference, like, you know, this yes. sort of thing. Right. So, yes. or they might not ascend, like meaning they might not get their enlightenment or whatever because yes. of it. But again, I'm here for those who are ready to hear it. And I really don't want to yes. dissuade people if they feel inside of themselves, that's the route for them. Because sometimes you have to take a Motrin because you have a migraine. Like I totally understand the, the uses and the benefits or the decisions that you have to make, which are complex, right? Well, I mean, the, the first thing is always going to be lifestyle. So like, what are you eating, drinking? Are you exercising? Are you breathing? You know, you have to always check those first major things that are like your daily habits. Those have to always be looked at. And I know a lot of people don't want to look at it because it means they have to change and we're change resistors and we like our stable lifestyles and stuff. But, you know, you have to question that. I like rotational diets, changing up your food, making sure you're getting a good spread of all kinds of minerals and vitamins from the food as much as possible, getting sunlight, grounding, mm -hmm. you know, doing different breath work, making sure you're sweating every day, making sure you're working your muscles in your body, making sure you're getting sleep and going to bed. So your circadian rhythm is functioning for you. I mean, you can't even heal the brain if you don't go to bed by like nine, nine 30. I mean, there's no after nine, nine 30 and past like 12, one o'clock, you're not even healing most of your brain. And, and yeah, you cleanse your brain cleanses in the earlier part of the night. So if you're like always going to bed one, two o'clock, you're like setting your sails for Alzheimer's later in life, right? Or Parkinson's or oh. something like that. Once you know your body, which will change over time. You know how you're eating, what works for you. What works for me is one solid meal a, a day and a little bit of nourishment, sort of like mid morning, afternoon. That's when my digestive fire comes up. I feel hungry. I'm listening. I want to eat maybe a salad or something really, you know, just fresh and nourishing like that, or something with fruit, like a smoothie, something where I could pack in a bunch of nutrients in one go and then not eat, you know, too late at night before bed if I can. But sometimes I do feel hungry at night and I will eat something nourishing, which tells me, okay, at night, my body does want that nutrition for some reason, even though, you know, you ideally don't want to digest when you're sleeping because everything else is going on. But again, our bodies are brilliant. So, you know, we want to listen to our signals once we get kind of on the right path.